Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12.1 beta five came out for developers and probably soon to public beta testers. It could be out by the time you're watching it, it came in at 245.3 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build is 16 B five zero eight nine B. And with the build number going back to the letter B at the end, that generally means they had to apply some other fix or something like that. And they haven't told us what that is in the notes. I've checked through the notes. There's really nothing as far as any issues that they've reported as being fixed or known. And lately with their betas, they haven't shown us a whole lot that way. However, I noticed one thing when I was looking at storage, this is what it was using before I updated. So you'll see 40.4 gigabytes of 256 on my 10 S max. Let's go to the next one and you'll see system was taking up 24.38 gigabytes. Now this can vary from time to time, but if we go back to settings, and then we go to iPhone storage, you'll see it's taking up less storage by quite a few gigabytes. So if we go down to the bottom, you'll see it's using 16.75 gigabytes. And actually I checked this a moment ago and it was over 17 gigabytes. So maybe they've done something to reduce that size. Let me know what yours is in the comments below. Now, the next thing is LTE. We don't know if it's fixed. It still was a problem with beta four and Apple hasn't addressed the issue, although they said they were aware of it and they're working with some other people to see if it's actually resolved. So we don't know that yet. And other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. However, speed has been improved for quite some people I've seen posting online. They said apps are opening quicker or more quickly. And here's an iPhone six S plus. And if we open something like monument Valley, you'll see it's resuming quickly. You can just play already and it's just working. So it's resuming quickly. Apps are loading more quickly and things like even Minecraft on the older iPhone five S are loading nice and fast as well. So if we resume this one, We'll wait for it to resume. So on the oldest devices, it's working fine as well. So that's a good sign that things are nice and refined, almost dropped it there, nice and refined and working well. Now on the iPad, I've noticed no changes. Uh, these are the two devices I use the most and I notice no changes whatsoever. It seems to be pretty stable and battery life on iOS five or iOS 12.1 beta five is going to take a while to actually determined. So I always do a follow-up video seeing how it's been for not only myself, but you and all of these devices. Now on beta four, it was actually pretty good. It improved quite a bit. And I've did a battery tips video not long ago where I gave some of those tips. I turned off background app refresh and it seems to improve quite a bit. Here's today and you'll see I'm at 62%. And over the past 24 hours, I've had three hours and 54 minutes of screen on time and four minutes of screen off, but I haven't used it a ton. And you'll see I have over 50% battery life here with almost three hours of usage. So we should be getting about five and a half to six hours with normal usage and sometimes more screen off time than not. It just depends on the day, but it's been pretty good for me. And don't confuse that with screen usage on iOS 11. iOS 11 calculates it completely different. They're not really to be compared. Now, other than that, as far as the speed, it's been fine for me so far, but also Geekbench scores seem to be, well, not as great as I had hoped. So here, I, this is the second time I ran it. I let the phone cool down, ran it again, and I got 4,781 and 11,310. If we take a look at the history, we'll go back here, take a look at the history. You'll see here's the scores we had. These two right here are beta five. This is beta four. So you'll see there is a slight difference between the two. It's a little bit lower, but that doesn't really mean there's going to be a whole lot of noticeable differences. And it could just mean something's going on in the background. When you get that close, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Now, of course, group FaceTime will be available in these devices. Also those new emojis. And we expect this to be released. I'm thinking since the iPhone 10 R comes out Friday, we may see a final version probably early next week, but we may see a gold master very soon. And there's an event on the 30th for a new iPad. So we should see new, some new iPad pros, maybe some new Macs, and we should see that on the 30th. And I'm looking forward to that. And I'll be covering that of course. And then this Friday we have the iPhone 10 R release. So I'm expecting the final release here on the 29th. Now I could be wrong, but it's looking pretty good that we could be here. We may see another release this week and then a final on the 29th. It's hard to say just yet, but hopefully that's the case. Now that's really it for this particular beta. I'll link the wallpaper in the description below, like I always do. And if you have any other comments or questions or things you've found, I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.